So I just had to help this <laughs> hog it. First time lammer, lamb its baby. <laughs> and Susan filmed it, so you can watch the video on her channel at some stage um, when she puts it up. But it was not easy. And now she's not that interested in her baby. <laughs> Doesn't know what it is. Uh, it's a big ram lamb. Which means we only have a few left. How many do we have left? Four. Four left. And the horses. Ishka's itching her shoulder is what that noise was. But the mother is just not interested. She's a very nervous hoggit. Come on. Come on. Just hope she doesn't reject it and start trying to kill it. <laughs> you keep calling your mama. And hopefully she will decide that you are the one. First orange tip. No, you're not to eat it. Java's wants to chase it. It's a beautiful little butterfly. So it's the first one this season that I've seen. This is a rare butterfly in Ireland and I grow its um, plant of choice for its caterpillars and to lay eggs. It's the cuckoo's flower, or ladies' smock, is the caterpillar, sorry, the egg leg laying location for the orange tip. They're a beautiful little butterfly. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's gone. And this little person is trying to catch it. I also spotted, oh, there it goes. I also spotted a blue, oh, it's gone. I also spotted a little blue butterfly. All the dogs are hanging out with me because, um, Java, can you get out of there? Come on, out, 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 out. Good boy. Um, I'm transplanting pots and plants uh, this is so spectacular. Look at that. Get my body out of that. But isn't that just spectacular? Look at that. Those yellows and those fiery oranges. Absolutely lovely. The water lilies are coming up. They've got a beautiful dark colored leaf to them. But uh, I bought this plant as one plant for like four euros and I've just divided it into four and potted them on. And these are some babies that I, that were, um, that might or might not last. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here for a good soaking. So, there we go, a good soaking. If those take, it doesn't matter, but it'd be nice if they did. But there's one plant divided into four. That's what I like doing. And here's a whole bunch of other plants. So these are my cheap, these were one euro each, that one, that one, and that one. And I bought them three years ago. So they're coming on and I've just potted them on as well. That one I've had, a. Um, I got um, 
I can't remember when. But anyway, those are my four Japanese maples. But these three were rescues. But this one's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? So, and what else? Yeah, shifting and potting things on. So being busy in here. Busy, busy, busy times. With dogs frolicking and butterflies appearing. <laughs> anyway, this is just, I'm loving these. Oh, look at that beastly snail. I think I'm going to take that snail out. There we go. You're not going to sleep there, Mr. Snail. These are just, oh, Bobby doozy. I'm going to have to get some more of those next year. And the combinations, I'm enjoying the combinations that I planted them in. Spectacular. And look at this bed. It's coming along beautifully. And I love how the Jack Frost is coming along. Jack Frost is that plant there. And it has these beautiful forget-me-not like flowers. So looking good. And look at this cyclamen I bought a number of years ago. And I thought it wasn't going to take. And it's coming. And it's a beautiful one, and I wanted to climb up this, uh, what is this, apple tree. So there's one cyclamen there that's coming out. Yes, how are you? And then there's another cyclamen right there coming out. You can just see it's just beginning to come out. So those are two different cyclamens. Anyway, I'm really enjoying working here outside the vine house and inside the vine house, sorting plants out, repotting trees. It's a beautiful day to do gardening. And I just go around the corner and check for lambing lambs. And this pear tree is, or papal tree, ooh, there went another orange butterfly, um, orange tipped butterfly. So we've got several of them about. This is really, this is, when the wind is not blowing, you can hear this humming. There's lots of pollinators pollinating this uh, pear tree, papal tree. Look at that little hoverfly. Pollinators are not all bees. There we go. Gorgeous. And the crows. <laughs> You're so good. Yes. I might go in and have a coffee now. I've been doing lots of stuff. I'd had to strip my coat off. It's hanging here. My coat and my scarf. And my solar, this was a present from a friend. And my solar fountain is working. It's rather lovely. Here's Wonky. Wonky, who is also called Munchkin, because her mother's mother munched her tail to clean her. Come on, let's go out. You can see she has no tail almost. Actually, Munchkin is a Male. Ram lamb. Oops, I made a mistake. Munchkin is not a female. Munchkin is a male. Hey, Kestrel. Come on, Kestrel. I thought Munchkin was a male, a female. Come on. Come on, leave it. Leave it. Come on, Kestrel. These two are going out. Kitty Wake and uh, Crystal with their lambs. Come on. Come on. Java, leave it. Come on. I don't know why I thought. Whoa, crash. 
Yours is right here. Don't beat up your neighbor's lamb. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Crystal. Lead the way. No! There we go. Come on. There you go. Go through there. I don't know why I thought he was a ewe lamb. Ah, right, Java, leave it. And here comes rain again. Come on, out you go. Leave it, Java, leave it. He's very wonky. Anyway, I've got to change his tag. He's got a female tag on. I have no idea why I thought he was a uh, male. Maybe in my dopey state. I missed his little pair of balls. Come on, out you go. Come on, come on, out you go. Out you go. There we go. And despite being wonky, he's learned how to suckle. So Kestrel is having a baby. You can see her lamb is still in its water bag. I think those are legs. Are you gonna let me look? Oh, you're coming backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pull this lamb because when they're coming backwards, when the umbilical cord um, breaks, the lamb inhales inside the yo, and that's not oxygen, that's birth fluid. So I'm gonna have to get in and pull her, P or pull the lamb, rather. Kestrel, this is not very clever of you, doing a backwards lamb. Okay, so Susan is now filming me and I'm gonna have to pull this backwards lamb out. I'm a scruffy, muffy, mucky person. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, sweetie. Yeah, it's a backward lamb. So we have to do this quick because we don't want it to inhale inside. You can see if you can zoom in, Susan, you can see the toes are pointing in under like that. So this means it's a backwards lamb because you need the toes going like this and the nose coming out, diving out. So backwards is not a good. Backwards is never good because the shoulders and the head are bigger. a bit blue. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Oh. Come on. Come on, baby. Please. Bugger! <sighs> oh! There's a heartbeat, it's just not breathing. <sighs> Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Heart going. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Come on. It might have worked. Come on, you're a fighter. You're a boy. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, my God. You all right? Yeah, it's just emotional. It is. Well. Sending him all kinds of energy. Ma! Yeah. Ma! He's doing good. You can do Come it. Come on, you can do it. Uh. Uh, yes. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You nearly didn't make it. There's Mommy Kestrel licking him. Oh, good Mommy Kestrel. <sighs> See, it's breathing. Yeah. And he's got his, he's slightly, slightly been depleted of oxygen. Well, when he came out, his muzzle was blue. His, yeah. his nostrils and everything were blue. Well, so they're the worst of the, one of the worst of the births because they literally, as soon as the umbilical cord is broken, the animal inhales or the lamb or the foal or whatever. So whenever it's coming backwards, you have to really help them. Because you see, I was really there as quickly as possible. Yeah. But, oh, bless you. Here, let's get more of that gook out. There you go. Now, another trick is to make it sneeze some more. So we put some straw in. Yep, one, come on.
<laughs> my goodness. Okay. Now, come on. Excuse me, spitting. But That's okay. We I can, had we all, birth mucus on. My we all understand. <laughs> So that's the resuscitation of a lamb. Good girl, Kestrel. And we got the we got the shakes, man. We do. We got the wobble. We're alive. He's ready. He's ready to. Okay. Take a now I'm gonna. You you can keep filming her, Susan. Okay. Him. I'm just gonna get out of the way of Kestrel. Oh. She's either got an afterbirth or a second lamb coming out. Okay, we have a second lamb coming, and I want to check that this isn't also coming out backwards. Mm. Hopefully, it's coming out the right way. This one's coming out the right way. Yay! Yay! another ram lamb so she has two boys, boys. and this one it's didn't take one. as much work Two. And you don't have any more, Missy. Two very nice boys. Healthy and alive. Yes. One presented wrong and the other presented correctly. But I helped her anyway just because. Ugh. So, this is lamb two. And that's lamb one, the one that nearly died on us. And he's very vocal. This one is getting there. Well done, Crystal. Two stonkingly huge ram lambs. She's working away on number two. Job done. Now I'm gonna go and have lunch for myself. What time is it anyway? Must be I after two. two. Yeah, so a two o'clock lunch. 
I had my breakfast around 6, I think, or 6.30. So, I'm hungry. Oh, it's three. It's three. It's three. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I better go and eat some food. After mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation of a lamb. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting up. He nearly did a somersault. He nearly did a somersault. You're a good mama, Crystal. Kestrel. Kestrel. Kestrel, not Crystal. You need to eat some food. I need to eat some food.